Eisner has been covering this extensively and joins us now live from downtown Los Angeles. Good morning. Good afternoon, Hal. Well, uh, Gigi, uh, Gina, this was a very short hearing, actually, maybe a half hour this morning. Uh, there were no cameras in the courtroom. That will come with the trial, but there was a sketch artist, so we have some drawings of Judge Michael Pastor and Conrad Murray. And, and, and it, the biggest news to come out of this morning's hearing was the judge saying that he was aware that the defense for Murray had filed an emergency appeal on Friday night to try to get him to reverse his stand on sequestering a jury. He was aware of it. He hadn't heard any re response from the court, the district court at this point, and said they usually are pretty quick, maybe a day or two. But he said if there's not a stay asked for by the appellate court, the trial will move forward. There will be jury selection on Thursday of this week. And that's that. So in the judge's mind, uh, he's not, it didn't sound like he's expecting any kind of a change of schedule, and he wasn't acting like there would be. Mark Househalter and Angeli Falangetti are with us right now, both uh, legal analysts for us. And what's your reaction to the judge's action? Bad call on the judge's Bad part. Call? Absolutely. The judge is responsible to make sure it's a constitutionally valid trial. These jurors are getting mobbed by Michael Jackson fans, and they're going to sit there and they're going to be outside influences that are coming down on this case. The judge says you got you to trust the jurors. Well, this case should be tried in a courtroom, not people's family room, okay? And the judge, is may, he may be naive on this point, but I'm telling you, the jurors are going to be listening. You can give them the warning, but in my opinion, better be safe than sorry, and let's guarantee a fair trial. Calling the judge naive, what do you say, Anthony? In my experience as a prosecutor for 14 years, I did 25 murder trials, and the foundation of our system is that jurors, time and time again, they're instructed by the court to follow the law, they're instructed by him to follow their, his instructions to the letter. Our foundation to our justice system is we expect them to do it, and I expect them to do it in this case each and every day. You know, the judge's instruction, the admonitions, the judge very clear. This is what he expects. You have to have a system where a jurors can be trusted. I know, but if there's any case out there where a jury should be sequestered, this is it. It has the media backing, has all the outside influences. Rather be safe than sorry. Another attorney we've been speaking with, R.J. Manuelian. He is from Glendale, a defense attorney, and to him, Conrad Murray can't get a fair trial unless the jury is sequestered. Here's what he told us. Michael Jackson, O.J. Simpson, jurors tend to think, why would these people commit these kind of crimes? Conrad Murray's different. He's not a superstar. He arguably killed a superstar, so there's animosity against him. You have people outside right now holding signs saying Dr. Conrad Murray is a murderer. How are you going to be able to shield the jurors from that? How are you going to be able to tell the jurors not to look at that, not to look at Google, not to look at New York Times, L.A. Times? It's impossible. The only way to cure that is sequestration, period. A gentleman, you heard what he said. I mean, you know, Michael Jackson's trial, Santa Maria, 2005, the jury was not sequestered. The defense got 14 not guilties. They didn't uh, need sequestering. Yes, but Michael Jackson had a huge fan base. Right now, there is no fan base for uh, uh, Dr. Murray. There's not one person out there that's going to be his fan and support him. Right now, it's all against him. This court is charged and chartered with the responsibility of having a constitutionally valid trial. And I think it's a mistake that the judge didn't sequester. Final word. Nothing to do with sequestration. If you want a fair trial for this man, good jury selection. These jurors are going to be given a lengthy questionnaire. Their answers are going to both lawyers, and the lawyers have the ability to find impartial jurors that can put all this media attention aside and decide this case based on the evidence. And that's the judge's job to manage, and I think he can do it. All right, gentlemen, thank you very much. So we see what happens. Jury selection expected to begin Thursday. There is another pretrial hearing tomorrow to talk about the questionnaire. But this case, uh, according to the judge, moving forward, we'll see what happens from the appellate court. Reporting live in downtown Los Angeles, Hal Eisner, Fox 11 News.